Hey guys, so as we said in a previous video, we have a future card fight, future card body fight trial deck, Savage Steel to open. Uh, if you haven't seen the Dominant Dragons one, go check it out. I kind of fumble my way through explaining how to play. Uh, I won't do that for this one, so if you want to know how to play, you can check out the website. Um, you can check out the anime. They kind of show you how to play in that, and if all um, if it gets any harder to understand, just go on YouTube, you're already on it, and search up um, the Buddy Fight demo. That should teach you how to play. So we'll get straight into it. Um, now, I'm not sure what world this is. Uh, Danger World, so that should be fun. Let me just put this up in the background, so... It's not all bad. Okay, we have our deck. We have our little bag of goodies. We have our Danger World Life Point counter. Okay, <laughs> having too much fun with that. Probably end up just using a spin down counter from Magic. You have your uh, playmat. And you have an interesting little how to play basic rules in manga format. Yeah, and then it tells you actually how to play in the back. But yeah, interesting how they put an actual comic in there. So that is cool. So into the actual deck. Now that we know what everything is, it should go a lot smoother. Here we have Armor Knight Cerberus. Uh, it is a grade 2 monster. Um, so... When you're playing, you can only summon monsters with a total grade of 3. So you can't have two grade 3s, you can't have two grade 2s. You can have three grade 1s, or uh, a grade 2 and a grade 1. Um, I think there's zeros as well out there, um, but I haven't seen them yet. So, on the side here is in the white critical your defense and your attack. So here he's got 5,000 defense, 5,000 power, and two critical. So the critical is how much damage he'll do if it goes through to your opponent. Um, so I believe... So this is um, the Armor Knight kind of ability thing. Um, so, activation, you may put a size 1 or less armor knight from your field into this monster's soul. Uh, second ability is full fire. You may discard one soul from this monster if you do destroy a monster on the opponent's field. And soul guard, if this card would leave the field, you may discard one soul to prevent it. So, interesting. Um, we have armor knight black drake which is a grade 3, you get two of them, uh, Armor Knight Griffin, four of them, some more Armor Knight Cerberi, <laughs> Cerberus I should say, uh, Armor Knight Minotaur, uh, Armor Knight Ogre, Armor Knight Hellhound, uh, Armor Knight Wizard, Armor Knight Eagle, Crimson Slash, so it has spells. Spells um, sometimes have costs, like this one says cost is to pay one gauge. The gauge is kind of like your resources um, for the game, so you can up the gauge once per turn by putting a card from your hand into the gauge and drawing a new card from your deck. Um, so. It's good to do it each turn, if able, just so you have things that you can do later on. Um, so this costs one. Uh, you may only cast this card if you do not have a monster in the center. And you can destroy a size one or two monster on the field. So Crimson Slash. Four of them. You have Survival Chance. Uh, another uh, one gauge cost. And you can only play it if your life is five or less. And you get to draw two cards, and you can only cast it once per turn. You have Battle Aura Circle. Um, you can only cast it during an attack on your opponent's turn. 
and it nullifies that attack and you can't have a monster in your center so just rem remember that um, invigorating breath you may only cast this card if you have a weapon equipped and do not have a monster in the center you gain four life um, the amount of life you gain is reduced though by the number of invigorating breaths you have in your drop zone so if you've already got two in your drop zone you're only going to gain two life so yeah um, then you have the items which you can equip or play to prevent things um, so equip costs this one is hysteric spear pay two gauge to equip it has the penetrate ability if this card attacks and destroys your opponent's monster in the center this card deals damage equal to its critical to your opponent so it has a critical of two power of five thousand so interesting and that just gets equipped to your um, flag slash item zone which is the same zone um, boulder piercing spear and then you have your impact card which is drill bunker Uh, has a cast cost of two. Um, you can only cast it if you have no monster in the center. For this turn, give one of your weapons on the field power 4000 critical plus two and penetrate ability. If the weapon is standing, attack with it. So interesting there. So you get a few of them. And then you have your buddy. So my buddy. And Danger World card. So I think. Where is it? Hmm. I think that is your buddy. Yeah, so pretty much if it's a chewy version of another card, I believe that's the buddy for your deck. Though usually they have the name buddy attached to it, but whatever. Um. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, um, so yeah, hopefully you understood little to nothing of that. So go check out the anime and the um, website, YouTube channel, etc. Um, it is an interesting game. I can't wait to start playing it. Um, from what I've seen on the anime, it looks pretty cool. So these were the two theme decks. Um, I believe there's some more stuff coming out. On March 14th, Burning Valor is coming out, which is the first character pack, um, which is based all on the Dragon World, I think. Uh, can't really say. I'm looking at posters, so I don't know. And on March 28th is... Uh, the third theme deck, Dragonic Force, which is another um, Dragon World deck based on the, what's his name from the anime series? The police kid, whatever. <laughs> I am so uninformed, it's, it's hilariously funny. Not. Um, so yeah, that was the Savage Steel deck um i am going to be opening more buddy fight stuff in the future so keep tuned on that and see you for the next opening see ya